Alright guys, now I want to talk to you about primes. Now the definition of a prime is only two or more points next to each other. For example, this would be a prime right here. And what I did is I set up, this is called a perfect prime, when you own a prime on six consecutive points. Now as you can see, this gives your opponent lots of trouble when trying to escape because there's nothing your opponent can roll to get these chips out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, you have it all blocked off. So this is a situation that you typically want to put your opponent in and it's good when you first start out making a lot of points in your home board. It gets harder and harder for your opponent to escape. So if you can ever set up this position, this would be ideal. Now check this out. Why is this so useful? First of all, these checkers are locked into place until you remove one of these points. So what you can essentially do is keep rolling and moving your checkers around the board, around the board, and eventually you're probably going to have to remove one of these points, which will probably be your seven point right here. And even when you remove this and move them up, it's still going to be difficult for your opponent's last two checkers to land on the seven because unless they roll double sixes and can move them both out at once, even if they roll one six and get it out, they still leave a block open to be hit. So that's why it's so dangerous for your opponent and so awesome for you to set up these perfect primes, especially if they're in your home board. So that is the basics of prime and why it's so useful. Another thing you want to look out for in primes, whenever you see your opponent is building a perfect prime on their home board, remember if one of your checkers gets hit, then this is where they're going to have to come out at. So typically what you want to do when you see your opponent setting that up is you want to try to own one of their points in their home board. That way, when you got a checker that's hit, it gives you a chance to come out, in this case, on five. Again, if you have a checker that was hit, and they own a perfect prime just like that, there's no way that you could come out. Check that out. One through six is all blocked. So that's why owning a point in your opponent's home board is such a useful technique for blocking off against their perfect primes. 